will look at the general process of mitosis in this video. In this video, we are going to add in some extra detail, including the names of the key stages. You may want to watch this video first to refresh your memory of how mitosis works. You should already know that mitosis is the process of cell division that produces identical copies of cells and is involved in growth, cell repair, and asexual reproduction. When cells divide by mitosis, the number of cells increases and hence the organism grows. Different organisms have different numbers of chromosomes. And to keep it simple, we are just going to look at what happens to one pair of chromosomes during cell division. Before we start, just a quick reminder that a chromosome is made up of two chromatids and one from the mother and one from the father. So mitosis, with our special sciencey names, add in, to this day, I just remember Ipman, to remember which order the stages go in. Then just tag cytokinesis into the end. Interphase, the chromosomes duplicate and become two identical chromatids, joined at the centromere. So in humans, it has gone from the original 46 to 92. In prophase, in the nucleus, the chromosomes condense, and in the cytoplasm, spindle fibers form. Metaphase, the nuclear membrane breaks apart. The spindle fibers attach to the chromosomes, and the chromosomes line up at the equator of the cell. Anaphase, the spindle fibers shorten and the centromere divides, so that each chromosome becomes two separate chromatids. Telophase, the nuclear membrane forms around each set of chromosomes. Chromosomes spread back out in their new nucleus and the spindle fibers break down. In humans, each nucleus has the normal 46 chromosomes again. Cytokinesis. The cell membrane pinches into two separate sets of chromatids, into two identical daughter cells with the same number of chromosomes as the parent. So 46 or 23 pairs in humans. So there we have how cells divide by mitosis to form two new identical cells with the special IPMAT, sciencey words included. 